We gonna be here all day. We gonna be here all day, baby. I like this kind of party. Welcome to the first episode of The Way Back. I'm Ryan Sickler, ryansickler.com, Ryan Sickler on all your social media. Uh, I'm here with my guest on the first episode, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Segura. Welcome to The Way Back, Tom Segura. Way, way back, man. Way, way back. Thanks this for having is, me. This is the back seat in the station yeah. wagon, facing out the back. No seatbelts. Dash on the front, yeah. cigarette smoke probably in the air, yeah. no seatbelts at all. You just see the grill of a car just come up to here, and you're like... Yeah. And you wave Did you ever him. sit in that seat? Did you were you All old enough time. to have that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you ever give the you shoot the finger real quick? Did you try shoot to the give one to pull to the yeah, side. If you're, yeah. if you're, what are you kids doing back there? Yeah. That stuff. Yeah. Pulling away. Yeah. yeah. Do it right now yeah. as we pull away. Buses. School, yeah. Other school buses. They would flick you sure. off. Yeah. If they yeah. saw kids, they'd yeah. be like, "Fuck, Fuck you." Kid. Yeah. I want to talk to you about just like this is all about nostalgia growing up and stuff. And your boys, who I've hung out with, and my daughter did too. We went fishing together. My daughter caught her first fish with your kids. We caught 18 fish and a turtle Yeah, out there using hot dog, which yeah. I had never fished with in my life. Stan and I took hot dog up here to Kenneth Hawn. You know what we caught? What? Two turtles. Two turtles. Turtles must love hot dogs. Bro. I, I was all fired up. I'm like, I got, I got a good one. I reeled yeah. as a turtle. But your kids are wild. I've seen stuff on your guys' social media of like keys in the toilet, uh, crayon all over the wall. Like I have a daughter. I remember even before kids. Yeah. I would sit in a restaurant and be like, look at these fucking boys are yeah. climbing over the shit and girls are just sitting there coloring and they're just, you know, genetically they're better fucking, than we are. They're monkeys. Completely, boys yes, are monkeys. monkeys. Yeah. What's the wildest stuff you guys used to do growing up? What'd you used to do? I mean, I think, you know, we used to take, we used to, everything was riding bikes, you know? Yeah. So like as soon as like you got home, ride bikes, we lived in this neighborhood in the suburbs of Cincinnati and we would just ride our bikes and the craziest thing that I remember doing at that age i'm talking like seven eight nine that's when i lived there you know i lived there when i was born and i left when i was nine but in that age range one time i went to these you know there was always like a field mm -hmm. <laughs> always just like back through some woods and one of the kids had an m80 and uh he just was like oh this is supposed to be like pretty big firework i didn't really have a concept of what it was what a quarter stick of dynamite yeah, <laughs> yeah. and when they, that thing blew off i just just from the impact i already i was like oh we're in trouble like i i couldn't believe that we didn't get in trouble i mean it left a fucking crater you Dude, know we used to put he those in people's off. mailboxes Jeez. and blow them apart oh yeah it, would blow, blow it would blow the sides open and the back off of it and one stuff. time i got a fire going uh on this like on this stretch of lake michigan when we were in wisconsin and i just got cans of spray paint and threw them into the fire just as like a are you serious it was like bombs going yeah off. And, bombs. And, and mists go flying different colors and it. Yeah. yeah yeah dude but that's we just like to, you don't think i no, we like. used to do roman candle fights shoot them at each other we used to do we used to take gi joes or star wars figures and we would like um tape like 12 bottle rockets to them and then light them yeah. off and see how see how far up it could go and then once it blew up the pieces would all come down yeah we would shoot fireworks off in the house. Like All we the were time. terrible kids. Now my kids uh, also like they when they when I found Ellis painting the walls with his hands, I That's fucking crazy. lost my mind. Did I'll, you ever do anything like I didn't do anything like that? As a I kid, one time though. put, I thought I was helping. I put water in my dad's lawnmower where you put all the fuel. gas. Yeah, oh uh, fucked it all up. And he was he was real nice about it. He was like, "Did you put something in here?" And I was like, "Mm." -mm. <laughs> he was like, "If I promise you're not in trouble." Will you tell me? And I go, I put water in there for you. <laughs> for you. Yeah, yeah. For you. Filled it up. Yeah, yeah. He was like, okay. Uh, <laughs> but I was like flipping out at Ellis. The fucking pain all over the What are you doing? Just going crazy. He was and what like, do they do? He goes, I don't like when you yell at me. When you raise your voice, I'm just a kid. He says that? Yeah. And he goes, if you just talk to me in a normal voice, I'm like, Dude, and I just start laughing because he's being like, he's right and mm -hmm. he's being like rational. I'm like, why are you painting the walls? He goes, sometimes my brain, man. <laughs> my brain, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just tells me to do stuff. I was like, okay. I love it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I love your kids. I hung out with both of them. They were beating the shit out of me, fresh out of spinal surgery. And oh I was like, okay, God. okay. And they're Brian, like, gah, gah. Brian came, you know, he's two girls. He has two little girls. And you could tell he's like so gentle. He's so gentle with them and the way he speaks and like, hey guys. And he's like, 
he's with these two sweet girls all the time and like he crawls into the trampoline thing and as he's on all because you have to crawl in as he's on all fours ellis grabs him by the neck yeah. and and julian just starts kicking him like <laughs> And he's yeah. like, and he just starts to, he's like, guys, guys, hey, guys, guys. And I was like, this is what it is, dude. Yeah. He's like, guys. <laughs> you just see him start to panic. Panic. He's yeah. panicking. And, and, and they're Stella like, looked at me too. Like yeah. she got it. So they caught a fish and then the boys wanted to put it on the trampoline. And I was like, go ahead, put it on the trampoline. So they put it on the trampoline and then Stella gets in there with them and they are bouncing around and this fish is flopping and it's almost hitting them like, ah, ah, you know, they're doing that. I'm like, all right, it's been long enough. Let's put it back in the water. Water swam away. That fish had to be terrified. Oh, like yeah. terrified. Well, it, their cousin came, a Florida kid who <laughs> enough said there. Who fishes daily and is doing fishing tournaments. So this kid, I mean, I couldn't believe it. He's 10 or 11. I mean, it was like, it'd be like if a guide, a fishing guy, like he showed up and he was like, you got all the shit? Like, you want, you want to see some shit? Yeah, you want to see like, some shit? Okay. I'll show you some shit. I mean, right away, he was pulling stuff out that I don't even have the reference. All I was pulling out was sunfish and bluegill Dude, and crappie. I mean, he was like, oh, this bluegill, you know what we do? I can use this bluegill as bait. And he's like, chick, 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 chick. like slices it up. And I was like, what? And he goes, we'll get a catfish with this one. Throws it in sets it like he's like we can go over here i'll come check it in a minute i'm like all right he's like a little kid and we go back he's like hey i got the catfish it was a catfish holy this shit. fucking big and i was like what is happening <laughs> every day i mean it was like you know seven eight fish in like 20 minutes and this was like all day he was you know he's catch and release and like the then like i go up to the house and then i hear they're like uh, they put a fish in the pool. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, you did not. And they're like, just one. Just one. Yeah. That's I'm like, all. don't fucking put fish in the pool. And they're like, sorry. And I go, great. Then the next morning, I see Ellis and he goes, uh, we put the copperhead in the uh, yeah. in the trampoline. I go, what the fuck did you just say? And he goes, the copperhead. I go, the snake? You got a, you got a copperhead snake? How does he know what a copperhead is? Is he in the snakes? Cousin. No, his cousin. Oh. I go, what do you mean? He goes, well, I caught one. And uh, I just took care of it. I go, what are you talking about? Did you catch it by like, I'm thinking by the back yeah, of his grab head. It, yeah. I go, did you grab a snake like that? He's like, no, no. It it swallowed like the whole line. like the. They caught it fishing? Yeah, they caught it fishing. I have never in my life heard then, anything like that. And then that. he goes, I go, what did you do with it? He goes, I put it in the cooler. And then I put the cooler on the trampoline. Deadly snake. And then he said, I've secured the premises. <laughs> and I go... I go, thank you very much. I go, please don't fuck with the copperheads anymore. For real. And I go, those are really dangerous. And he's like, I knew it was dangerous. That's why I put it in the cooler. And I was like, secure the premises. You. Premises are totally secured now. You uh you and I like to send each other carnival accidents. Did you guys did you ever go to carnivals and stuff like that growing up? Did yeah, you? Yeah. yeah. Would you ever let your kids get on carnival rides? Now? Never. Carnival. Not Disney World. Never. Carnival. Never. Yeah. Never, never. No, not a chance. Not a, not a chance. When I've, you realize, like, I look back and I'm like, they all had really nice teeth. And I'm like, oh, you're all meth heads running these things. Dude, yeah. yeah. I mean, I got puked on at one. I remember that. Ew. You got yeah. someone's puke hit you. Did you throw up everywhere? No. The funny thing was, I'm walking and it's one of those, it's like the, the Ferris wheel that goes up, it also spins. Mm -hmm. So it's like double spinning. And I just feel like flick, 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 flick. Like, it feels like raindrops. Ew, God. And I'm like... <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, it's vomit. And it was like, you know, when you're like, uh, like dressing in the, in the, the way that like, you don't know, I, I was never wearing wife beaters, like undershirts, but I was that day, <laughs> that day at the carnival, I had one on. So I was able to take, take off, it off my puke covered shirt, throw it in the trash. And then just look like a Florida kid. Yeah. And like in your wife beater. Oh, it was so disgusting. Though. I saw I think I've told you this before, but I went to a carnival It was right here in uh, Sherman Oaks back in the day. And my friend Christy and her roommate Rachel were um, living around the corner from me. And I knew them from Maryland. They were younger. You met Christy. She loved Year of the Bull. Remember, uh, you're like, how does this girl yeah, love yeah, Year of yeah. the Bull like that? They're like, do you want to go get on the carnival rides? And I was like, I'm not getting on them, but I'll walk over there with you guys and walk around the carnival. I like carnival. They're like, do you want to get on the zipper? And I'm like, no, no. someone's going to die. And as we're walking to the zipper, 
There's a lady fucking face down on the ground. Okay. The, sw- oh, the swings yeah. have stopped and we hear a siren go by and I go, I, I don't see the lady at first. And I-, I jokingly go, oh, they're coming here, but they go past. But then all of a sudden they stop and you turn and they come back and here comes a fire truck and an ambulance on the grounds pulling over. And there's the lady laying there and she's flown off the swings. <laughs> she's not moving. Listen, I'm not kidding you. As close as that couch is over there to us, this lady's laying here. The zipper's yeah. right here. And this guy over here is going, two tickets. And she is dead <laughs> on the ground. You, and this uh, motherfucker said two, two tickets. tickets. And they start walking up. And I'll never forget, Christy had a ponytail at the time. And I snagged her ponytail. And I pull it. I go, what are you doing? She's like, what? I go, look. Her friend's already in the zipper. This guy's like, two tickets. They went and got on. No and problem. they took this lady on the stretcher Can and got out of imagine? here. And then guess, guess who wasn't there the next day? The yeah. swings. The swings were gone. Yeah, gone, bro. Can you imagine the gone. impact with which she hit the ground? No. Like flying like that? <laughs> like, you might be hitting the ground at like 50 yeah, miles an hour, man. Fire. So hard. Uh, well, we have some videos we're going to watch Two with you. Tickets. <laughs> Two tickets! Two tickets! <laughs> She's dead right here. Like, you had to step over That's her different almost ride. to it's get a different ride. Yeah, like, yeah. Nah, yeah. that ain't us. Yeah, that, that ain't, ain't us. us. You seen this one here? Let's watch this one. This was, uh, this one in India? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm it familiar. Twice with this yeah. Road. Yep. Everything is going well. Not so much. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> Bodies everywhere, bro. Dude, that's seven. Like <laughs> that's just that's a straight drop. Broken down. vertebrae. Oh, like, everything. Yeah. Uh, what do you think happened to this guy then? Let's see. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, I've seen this one too. I know exactly what's going to happen on the right side of the frame. <laughs> This guy's just going to... Oh, yeah, look. God, man. Oh, fuck. I mean... Bro. Did it push him through that gate? He went... Yeah, he went out that gap. Yeah. Holy shit, dude. He went through that it's gap. Nuts. It's nuts. I wouldn't get on any of that shit. None of that. No. Carnival, local carnival? No way, bro. It really is just passing through town. And it's people that are passing through town. Hell yeah. And if yeah. you come back, like, hey, the guy that was running the swings last Who? night, there's a late there's a late died on a guy running the swings. He didn't he didn't have he had missing ear, you know. Yeah. Some scars. Do you know the guy missing his, I don't uh, know who he is at all. Doesn't he set guys. up next to you at every city? I don't even know. Yeah. I don't know if I just keep my mind my, my own business. I think you call him a pesky Pete or something like that. I heard you guys you say. You didn't see a lady that died right in front of your zipper last night? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, I was, no, I was just yelling for tickets. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just got here. I just, I just like, got like, here. No, you didn't. <laughs> All right, what else do we have for Tom? Let's see. You ever see this one? <laughs> oh! oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Is, yes, yes. Look at this is Bert in your head. arm right now. <laughs> Look, he's just like, get up, man. Why are you fucking around? Fuck. You got to show me that again. Guy. He runs out. Dude. Good. Hit once, hit twice. Whoa. <laughs> And there's a guy Whoa. sitting in the car. Yeah. He's like, what? Come on, man. He's like, come on, man. Quit fucking Don't around. Don't fuck up my car. <laughs> That's exactly like, this is perfect. He does. Boom. Ow. Boom. He's lucky he flipped like that. Oh, yeah. Shoe comes off right here. Look at it. Look. Yeah. Boom. Hell this guy's yeah. Like, what are you doing, man? This guy's like, come on, come man. On. The way he pulled him up, he was like disappointed. Don't be laying there. Also, you imagine yeah. your spine's probably broken. He's grabbing ah, too. <laughs> He's just yanking, ah. yanking you. You got to stand up. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Look at this right here. Yeah. Tom. Watch where that horn goes. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Up his ass. Oh, no, he's he's very damaged. Look at him hold. Yeah. Look at him hold. He's like, oh. It's right. His whole colon's destroyed. His whole asshole is destroyed. Jesus Christ. I also saw one with- You've um, seen that one with the lady? Yeah, she runs out and it just- Not runs out. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The one where the- So the bull comes out and there's four- Yes. Like- And it goes at her And it first. just goes her- And her neck and she just snaps goes, and she's boop. down. Her yeah, arms just like, go up. Yeah, yeah she's, she's done. She's done, dude. I've also seen the one with the bubbles the where the bull hits the guy in the bubble ball. Have you seen that? Uh, oh. And he goes into the lower oh, yeah, concourse yeah. Yeah. of the stadium <laughs> yeah. from the middle- of the fucking arena dude. that's what you're that's fucking with yeah that's a realistic <laughs> example of how strong that yeah. animal is <laughs> it launches him out of the it put him into a lower concourse yeah. <laughs> have you seen that look that one up real quick can you get that one but that lady though is <laughs> yeah let's watch the lady die do you too. have that one <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it real quick here. I, I have it. So I mean, she goes 
Yes, yeah, yeah. right. that's her right that's there. That's gonna be it. Yeah. She, he, it's just gonna go. I like the lady her. on the right. Yeah. yeah. She's all like, right. Let's go here. What should first? I do? Boom. <laughs> She's done, dude. Bro. <laughs> She's, Bro. Her neck snaps back. No one's trying to help. Now he's telling him get out. Look, she's just get over out. there, like, all right. No one's helping her, <laughs> bro. Look how hard it hits. It hits her. Show that again. Boom. Oh God. That's it. Just over. It's over. Is there any update on her? Like, they used to. They do this game called. Have you seen? Cow- it's. I think it's called Cowboy Poker or something like that. And these guys sit in a in a circle like that with their backs to the bull, and they just sit and play poker. And the last one to get up from the table is the winner. And inevitably, the bull's coming through. Oh, sure. And the last one that gets up wins the money. Oh, my God. Um, I did have a fun one here about neighbor fights, which I feel like um, I saw on your Instagram one time. And so. Oh, they're mad about. I'm not sure what they're mad about, but He's this like, is how they handle it. We have permits, okay? Was he? Oh, what? <laughs> now you think that's bad. He lit the dude on fire. <laughs> he hit him with a fucking no. Uh, now watch what he does to the, Watch what he does to the wife. <gasps> what? 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 Oh. No. Oh. She gets harpooned. Now you got to leave that in there. You got to leave that for a while. How? This is called. So that thing went through her neck when it, the explosion happened. That I'm not clear. That's I'm I'm not sure. And of. they're neighbors. This is yes. This, I just know that it was a neighbor. Yeah, fight. this feels like it's Eastern Europe, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we'll, look, look at that. Because and, and that lady's just chilling right there with her phone out. Yeah. Isn't that her phone out? They said she, this was a flame. She was like, "Go get the thing, and I'll I'll record it." Look at that. So. How does it start again? It, it's just like it's just them arguing. So they're arguing. She obviously is with the mm-hmm, the old the dude. old guy because she, yeah, she's like, where's the lady in here that gets the thing through her face? Is that she's her like, right there? I'm sick maybe? of this guy's bullshit. Always out here digging up with. holes. And then he's like, why don't you he's like, fucking you know what, motherfucker? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you Let what me to do. How about that for it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But how did that happen? How did that happen? Oh my God, <laughs> Jesus! Christ. Yeah, she's she's like so startled. You know how you kill this woman right now, right? Is by just taking that, that out. out. Yeah, yeah. Which they're trying to do from yeah, yeah. They're trying to yank that. Shit. Yeah, he's like, let me, let, let me, on her chest. let me. I pull hard. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Have you ever seen this Subway sandwich maker high on heroin? Oh, yeah, Tom. yeah, yeah. Eat fresh, man. Tom, look, the hat, the ribbon of the hat's about to touch. It's touching. Touching this. <laughs> look, she's kissing it. <laughs> this guy is in the middle this. of his, his sandwich. sandwich. That's his sandwich. Yeah, she just sleeping on and Look then, at her sleeping on it. And he's going to have to explain why he wants another one, you know? <laughs> <laughs> he'll be like, she will be like, your face. Yeah, he's like, so well, like what? Your face, your face was all over it. <laughs> I didn't know that was the top. <laughs> you know, when you put your face on it. <laughs> oh, that's just one of my favorites, dude. Heroin, dude. Heroin. Oh, you ever see this? All right, wait. Oh, man, give me a, give me a over under. Let's say over two inches. How long you think this nail is gonna be? It comes out of this dude's fucking face. I thought you were gonna ask me about pints of blood. I'm about to <laughs> see. Um, Believe it or not, no, no. Uh, all right. I think it's going to be, fuck. When you see it, tell me if you think it's okay. what you thought it might be. Oh. Jesus. How did he Those get that Those are old in? school pliers. Oh. Dude. Look how long that nail is. Look at that. Yeah. What was the craziest wound you had as a kid growing up? Or C1. I mean, I remember the craziest thing where I was like, no way, was taking a pair of pants, stepping through it, and not realizing that there was a really sharp pencil like in the like the pant leg somehow. No. And so when I stepped like this, it went all the way up in my foot. Like oh, so I fuck. had to pull a pencil that was like you still have a scar from that? I don't I don't even I don't think I've looked. Yeah. I still have a scar. Where the hell did it go? Oh, it's on my knee. My knee from third grade when a kid. This stuck is a me. scar. It's next to one of my I forget if it's this eye or this eye. 
this, this eye right this here. Eye? I see it. Yeah. That's from the nightstand when I was like fell and hit it. When I was like seven, eight, roll over, hit it, right? Hits this. Um, I tell my mom because there's blood, and she like she's like, oh okay, I you know she like dabs it, like go to bed. In the morning, I wake up, and I notice that my pillow's gone, and I'm like, where's my pillow? And they were like, I could see them. They're like, uh. And I go into the laundry room and it's just red. It's soaked with blood. So I bled into it like all night, like (laughs) soaked. Looks like a homicide. (laughs) Just from this cut on the side of my (laughs) neck. All right, we got to get Tom out of here. We have any questions? Anything else? Uh, Just one more. Okay. Here we go. You take us back to what was going on with you around this time. Yeah, what's going on with number 32? How old are you? Falling before injuries. That's Baby Shaq right there. That's what they call me. (laughs) How old are you here? Baby Shaq. That's a. that is Lakeshore Middle School in Mequon, Wisconsin. That's the B team. I was on the B team. You were? Yeah. <laughs> B team. B basketball. basketball team. That was probably, it's either seventh or eighth grade. I want to say eighth grade. I think it's eighth grade. Um, did you want to play basketball or was that something like your no I, I love I love playing did. basketball yeah I loved it and um, why B team was it an age thing or were you just not that good yet I just like there was the f- black eyes <laughs> <laughs> like Benny Cleveland and Benny Cleveland and, sounds like a 36 yeah, year old yeah. black man <laughs> and uh and uh Quow uh, Taylor Quow yeah Quow <laughs> Benny <laughs> They were on the 18th. You're definitely not getting nah, on that team. Just nah. listen to the names. No, nah, dude. Quail Taylor. He's on the 18th. And then we go from this school uh, over to Homestead, which was like, a, at the time, it was like 2,600, mm-hmm. 2,800. And uh, I play freshman football. I'm getting ready for basketball. We moved during the year. But at that, at that school, I remember that those guys were in the high school gym. Doing like windmill dunks. <laughs> windmill dunks. Yeah, like, yeah. That was home. Yeah, there's Homestead. That's where. And that, that's yeah. There you go. Look, you're pretty, Tom. Yeah, you're pretty there. Sixty three and thirty two. Yeah, yeah there's a guy. I remember this guy named Afuma, who was like, oh, "That's pretty, Tom, right there." Yeah, pretty, Tom. Yeah, those were the days. Dude, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being our first guest, kicking this podcast off here. My pleasure. Letting Princess lay here with us. Princess is gorgeous. Um, she's a fun little sweet lady. Yeah, she's going to be coming on the episodes and hanging out. I love it. Um, thank you, dude. Plug anything Anytime. you'd like to plug. Uh, yeah, just um, check me out on tour. I'm sure by now I've announced the tour. So go to TomSkirt.com slash tour and uh, come see me live. All right, there it is. As always, Ryan Sickler on all your social media. Come see me live. All tickets available at ryansickler.com. If you're going to go to a show, make sure you get two tickets. Two tickets! Two tickets!